All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. And guess what? From now on, what, you don't need to clean my room. Uh, Sherry, me and you, we don't feel knack again, oh. Eh? If not that one day your mind, just come out your mind for that one. Because me, I love Vicky. Okay? I love Vicky so much. She's been very good to me. So all these ones where you just did, pam, pam, me, they do. I beg, make just come out your mind. Just leave all these ones. I go do it and they do normally. Even with your child? You see everything? You know, three months ago, what we had, it just confirmed that I'm, I'm pregnant. <sighs> okay, well, I need you. I can't do this on my own. We need you. I'm so sorry for the way I've been treating you all this while. I'm deeply sorry. There's nothing going on between us. The other one I love. How dare you? How dare you stand before me and profess love to me while you've been sleeping with my best friend in the same house? How could you do this to me? There's nothing going on. Okay, then. How long have you guys been screwing each other? Talk to me, how long? God, look at me, I'm so disappointed in you. How long? Um, can you also explain to her that I'm three months pregnant for your child? What? No, no. just leave me alone! Hey, look! Hey, come now, come! Come, let me kick you in your head! Look at her! Look at her! Oh, oh, gonna... oh, 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 stop, stop, oh stop, stop. now! Now, now, now you're protecting her, Abby! Of course! Because she's carrying your child! Absolutely! Exactly! Come, let me slap your face! Of course, you have to protect me! Hey. Look, look at that, look at that! <laughs> you have to protect me because why? Because I'm carrying his baby! I'm just... Get out! Can you stop it, guys? Shut up! Shut up, you scum! How dare you? How dare you speak to him like that? He's the father of my child! And he's my man! Okay? Yeah! Come then, come. You know, you're, you know you're carrying your child. Of course, I'm carrying it. So there's been so many debates as to who is right and who is wrong with all this bro code and girl code that always gets, you know, interwoven. So two of them are best friends, the ladies, and then you know here's the guy. One thing led to another, and you know, the guy slept with her friend, and now she's pregnant. I don't even know how to spin this, cause the truth is that. Both of them are at fault. Of course, definitely the girl friend is 100% at fault for sleeping with her friends, man. That should be a no-go thing. Like, everybody should have known that. Um, but at the same time, the guy is 100% at fault for sleeping with her friend. It, there's no 50-50 with these things, you know. These two of them are 50 Everybody is 100% at fault. Now the question is, what's the way forward? Here's my take. There's a pregnancy that's already in place. That's established. The previous lady, the original owner of the boyfriend, I think is how that should get a clue. You know, this man has cheated on you and you guys are still dating and now somebody is pregnant, your friend is pregnant for him. I'm not sure if fighting for the guy is still the right thing to do. Like... You guys are still dating and he's cheating and, you know, somebody else is pregnant. Why are you still there fighting for the guy? The other party that's pregnant might probably, you know, have a reason to fight for him, you know, considering that, you know, she's carrying his child and he's, she's probably hoping that maybe a relationship can build out of there. But even her has to be wary of the fact that he's a cheat. So if he did it with her, he's definitely going to do it against her later. You know, it's it's just a thing, right? And, you know, there's this saying that people that cheat always cheat. I don't know if I would say that. You know, there's always room for second chances. There's always, you know, circumstances surrounding a cheat. And, you know, that's one thing that never gets addressed. Maybe this is a topic for another day. But there are circumstances surrounding somebody that cheats. There's a difference when you are treating a man right and he cheats. And when you are not treating a man right and he cheats. I'll leave that particular topic for a different day. But in this scenario, both ladies should be wary of the fact that they are dealing with a cheat. The person that's pregnant probably might have valid reasons to still hope that you know they would have a future and he would change but the lady that got cheated on why are you even still fighting for him 
why you love him okay you know but don't say it when he cheats again that you didn't see this coming that's all i have to say on this if you guys love this kind of content again please subscribe follow you know like share this is cj and i'm here to deliver sense